All right, guys, so here's the review of the EMG Odyssey GMT. So this is actually a pretty interesting one. So the guys who started EMG were actually a couple of guys who met on a watch forum you may have heard of, Watch You Seek. So that was back in 2016. So since then, they've done a couple of watches, obviously. But with this one, I've been testing out. Full disclosure, they sent me it just for loan. I don't get to keep it. Got to send it on to another reviewer or send it back to them. Not sure which at the moment. This is also a little bit different to a lot of the watches I review on the channel. It's a little bit more expensive, but I think you'll see why once we get down to the review. Whether you think it justifies that price or not, that's going to be up to you entirely. But let's get down to it and find out. So here's the watch roll you're getting. The EMG branding is pretty nice. And then all the way around. We've got space for quite a few watches in there. But obviously we've just got the one in here. So quickly take that out, pop that to one side for a second. Because the only other thing in here is the links I've taken out. Obviously, if you get it, you'll be getting the warranty card and everything. So the warranty is actually going to be for a year. And then this is the links. So I'm going to focus. Let's get a zoom in. This is one of the little issues I have actually had with this. So you can probably see that's a pin and collar system there. Not my favourite. A little bit fiddly to get out. So something to be aware of. And then here's the watch. So this is what they call the sunrise option with the white and the yellow. They also have a midnight one, which is a, I think it's a dark blue, with possibly grey bezel insert. And then they have a Pepsi version, which obviously you can figure out what the colours are for that one. I'll probably leave pictures on screen though, so you can see what they're like. I think my favourite is this sunrise one. I do quite like this. Really like the vibrancy of that yellow. Let's get a zoom in on the dial. So everything nicely done. So you've got applied indices, which got a little bit high to them. So we've got the EMG brand at the top there, that's just printed. Then we've got the Odyssey at the bottom, and then the GMT. And then that six o'clock date window with the frame around it. Well, printed frame around it. I do like my date windows at the six. If I'm gonna have a date option, that's definitely where I'd prefer them. Just like the symmetry it gives you. Not a fan of having them at the three, and I'm really not keen on them at the 430. So you can probably tell we've got an inner rotating bezel on this. So let's quickly show you that in action. So we just got a screw down for that, which is good. And then you hear it pop. And then it's bi-directional, which is what you want with one of these. And then obviously you push it down, screw it back in. So you don't knock it and move it around. Seeing as we're talking about that, I'll quickly flip around to the back. Before we do actually, quickly show you that. Got the branding on the clasp there. Nicely done clasp. Plenty of micro adjust, nicely milled, double pushes. Now, if I get a zoom, oh, it's already zoomed in. So hopefully you can see this. We've actually got, it's a little bit scuffed up because this is a review piece. But we've actually got the time zone markings there, which is really handy. So if you do want to use that GMT function, you can make the most of it with that. Seeing as we're around here as well, we've got solid end links, and then with this bracelet, I do really like these links, the way they're all rounded off. Really comfortable on wrist, nice and smooth. Really nicely finished, nicely brushed. And they do integrate well as well, especially with female end links, which is always good. And then we've also got uh, drill dogs too. So Mainly brushed, some polished details. Again, nicely done, nicely detailed, etched on those crowns. Not the logo, but do quite like it. Plenty of grip too. Definitely not an issue. Let's talk about that movement a bit more. So it's a Salita SW330 
obviously with that GMT function. So this isn't a movement I actually had experience with before. I've only had experience with the SW200. So if we pop it out twice, just move those hands out of the way. And then if we pop it out once, turn it one way, you can change the date, turn it the other way, and then you can move that GMT hand and it will actually jump to the different time zones, which is handy. And then again, if I pull it out again, you can see the second hand stops, so we've got hacking. And then obviously we can set the time. Pop it back in, second hand re-engages. And then just screw that ground back down. Again, plenty of grip. Really nice to use. So now we're looking back at the dial again. I'll quickly talk about the hands, because they are quite interesting. So they're all the perfect length. Got that GMT hand right to the edge. Same with the second hand. So they're perfect. Minute hand right on the edge of that. Hour hand right on the edge of the hour markers. Also, you can see we've got that line down the middle, middle of the hour hand. I'll show you why we've got that in a minute. Because you probably think it's just an interesting design choice. But there's a bit more to it. In fact, I'll quickly show you now. So we've got a little bit of loom there already, but charge it up, give it a proper chance. And you'll see why we've got that line down the middle of the hour hand. And there it is. So it just helps differentiate it a little bit easier. So you're not going to rely on just the length. You can see straight away which one's the hour hand. Just interesting, nice little touch. Also, we've got a bit of loom on that GMT hand as well, which is always good. So you can actually use that. So I do like that. Nice amount of loom on there as well. Nicely evenly applied. No issues with that. That's a really good amount of time. Good. Definitely good loom. So now let's get onto the measurements. So we've got a thickness of 13.1, diameter of 40.5, lug width of 20, and the lug to lug of 48. So pretty nice dimensions. Lugs are slightly long. They could have been a little bit shorter, I guess, but they do slope down quite a bit. So it does still wear quite well on wrist, which I'll show you in a bit. Before we do that though, let's test whether we've got sapphire crystal using the trusty diamond selector too. And yeah, we have got sapphire crystal. So that's always good to see. And it is a really nice domed crystal as well. And apparently there is some AR coating on the inside of that. So all that's left to do now is show you what it's like on wrist and then we'll wrap this up. And this is what it looks like on my seven inch wrist. So like I said, with the curvature to those logs, it does conform to wrist quite nicely. It doesn't wear quite as large as you'd expect with that 48mm lug to lug. If you've got a smaller than 7 inch wrist, possibly it might be a touch big. Obviously if it's bigger, you're not going to have to worry at all. But I do really like this one. It's just a really nice looking piece. The finishing's absolutely spot on. Nice polishing, nice brushing. Really good loom, nice functionality, nice dome on that crystal. Very comfortable bracelet, albeit with those pin and collar links, but you've only got to change it once, so not too big a deal. Plenty of micro adjust to get the perfect size. So, you're probably wondering now, how much is it? So, like I said at the start of this video, it's a bit more expensive than a lot of the watches I check out. So this one's actually going to be on pre-order, as I say, currently available at the moment for $750. That works out to about £451, about €635. Euros. So like I say, not cheap, but it's got a Swiss movement, Swiss GMT movement of that as well. And like I say, the finishing is really good. Functionality wise, you can't really ask for much more. So if it's one that you're interested in, Links are down in the description as always. 
But that's it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.